Saray Castillo. I am a digital arts instructor here at the Boys and Girls Club of LA Harbor. Um, today, kind of wanted to go over some of the programs that we've used here before. Uh, this is Fire Alpaca. So this is a program that we've been using at the club. Um, it's really useful. It helps us to do digital arts, um, animation, and I'm gonna try and show you guys how to do it. Um, usually we use a tablet. So I have one actually over here. And we use a tablet pen. So if you do have one of these, that would be great. Um, I don't want you guys to go out and buy one because these cost about like 80 to $100. But yep, this is a tablet, this is a pen. But um, for the sake of the video, for some of you guys that don't have it, I'm going to use a mouse, so we just need a computer, a mouse, and fire alpaca, and I'm going to try and show you how to download it. So we're going to go to Google, and you can just type in download fire alpaca. Can you spell it for us, please? Yes. Oh, and I'm sorry, and I have my camera person, which is Dylan. Uh, Hi. Yeah, Dylan's <laughs> helping me too. Um, so we're going to go to Google. Uh, and fire alpaca is going to be literally just fire alpaca, like the animal. And then it should be the second one. Usually I don't like doing the first one because that doesn't always work. So we right click open to the new window and then we're going to go. So it depends on which um, computer you're running. Uh, we're using Windows, so we're going to click download. And I already downloaded it before. It takes about five minutes or so to download. And you can open, so if you have a Windows Google, you can go to Downloads, and then it'll show you where you download it, and then and I'm just gonna click it. So it's gonna ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We're gonna say yes, and then it's gonna open up the wizard. Um, and what's good about this program, it's pretty light. It runs pretty well. Um, and pretty fast. So we're gonna go to, yes, so we want it to say this on the screen. We're gonna go to next. And then it's just asking you if you want it to be on your startup menu. So you just go next and then install. Um, so it looks like it's not gonna let me download just because I already have it. But if you just keep going to next, But yeah, so I already have it, so it's not gonna let me download, but if you do hit next, it will allow you to download and it will show up on your screen and on your taskbar. So we can minimize this, we can go to cancel. And I've already, like I should before, already had a little something started. So for the theme, um, we're gonna go over some themes and sort of uh, change it up each time so this for today we're, we just did cats and I already started it out I did my little guy um, with my mouse and it does take a while I know some people don't like the mouse because it feels kind of weird but there's some things that you can do to sort of make it easier for yourself what I did is I started out with the head and I just kind of went around and took it really slowly and what's cool about Feral Pack is that uh, you can change the speed at which you draw. So if you think, oh, I'm not gonna be good because I'm not like that steady handed, and that's fine because uh, you can do what's the correction, you can change it so you can make it go slower so you can kind of see where you're going. Otherwise, if you don't, if you have it at zero, which is the fastest correction, it see how it follows like really quickly and that doesn't give you time to sort of think about where you're drawing. So if you go to the lowest at 40, it goes way slower. So that I think really helps. It helped the kids before. I would tell them, put your correction lower so you can see where you're going. So we're gonna work at 20 is a good correction. And then since I already started, what I like to do um, as a shortcut, I like to go to the selection. So right now we're on pen which is the drawing tool right there. And then I'm gonna go down to the, what I call the lasso tool, and it helps you select certain areas. So I'm gonna select this area right here. 
for example. And then I'm gonna go down to the keyboard and I'm gonna do Control C, which stands for copy, and Control V, which stands for um, pasting. And then we're gonna do Control T, and that lets us transform. So Control T is very useful. So say, see how I selected here now it's on Control T, which is transform. I can go to flip. So I'm flipping this new layer that I pasted and I can go and literally just sort of copy what I drew and then I just adjust it to however I want. So you're making it symmetrical basically yes. by duplicating one mm -hmm. side. Exactly, so I'm making it so that I don't have to like go over and do it again. It really cuts a lot of time and that's what it is. People say digital art is cheating but it's actually being, digital art is just being smart about your work efficient it's efficient yes so I have a little line here that I kind of want to there we go so uh, we've done the rest of the head and we can do that for any other thing that you want to duplicate so we're literally just going to do the same thing over and over and you have to keep in mind with your layers see how I when I pasted it it created a new layer so just know that that's different and then this is different and then we can do the same thing. Can you slow down just a little bit and show it again? For the step by step for the for yeah. the layers for the um the eye. What oh you're yeah. Do with the eye, yeah. So for the eye, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go back to the lasso tool. Mm -hmm. So the lasso, and we're gonna lasso around the eye. Okay. And then we're gonna do Control C again. Control C and then Control V and then see how we created the new layer there. Yeah. And then we're gonna do Control T and that's gonna let us whoops, Control T. And then that's gonna let us go back down to the flip option. And then oh see this I wasn't looking at my layers, that's why I made a mistake. So we're gonna do it over again. So control C, control V, and there's the new layer. Mm. So I wasn't paying attention to that. So we're gonna do control T, oops, control T, and now we can do the flip and see how there's another one. So he's a little cross-eyed, but that's okay. What's the shortcut for the flip again, please? The flip is gonna be always down here. So whenever you um, uh, wanna make things symmetrical, that's gonna be the option for that. It. And then we can hit enter, and then control D that deselects and now we have our symmetrical cat and we can start merging the layers so what that means is you can go to this tool right here mm -hmm. and that lets us bring everything together so it's just literally smushing everything and then that way it'll be easier for us to work and the reason also why we need to do this is so that we can use or start coloring in what we want to color in and we can use that with our bucket tool, which is right here, little bucket. Mm -hmm. And then you can start choosing whatever color you wanna make, if you wanna fill in. So I'm gonna choose, I don't know, he doesn't have to be a realistic cat. I can make him pink if I wanted to. You can just fill it in. Oh, did it freeze? It didn't freeze. it's taking a while to think and then another thing too is if you don't fill in the lines it'll go out like a literal bucket it'll just like think of like water in a container right now you can't see it because it's like mm. freezing but yeah see mm. that's what I mean is if, if the lines aren't closed. yeah if they're not connected because I didn't connect that one. so I'm gonna do control Z and control Z on the keyboard if you make a mistake you can actually go backwards so I'm gonna go back to my uh, pen. I'm gonna set it to black, and I'm gonna go and fill in my gap, because there's a little gap right here. It's a little messy. So if you're struggling with the mouse, it's okay. I'm struggling too a little bit, but it can be done. I've had some students make their best work just using the mouse. So it is possible, and there's a lot of digital artists too that just work with um, using the mouse, there's digital artists that um, make what's called pixel art, 
So whenever you see um, like avatars, like for games or anything, like little animations, like uh, I don't know, like in Pokemon, when you used to play like the Game Boy versions, people would just use a mouse. So it's a little fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the magic wand tool. So we don't want to repeat the same uh, mistake of overfilling. So mm -hmm. if you go to the magic wand tool, you can select what the computer thinks is uh, a dominant space. Meaning right now I just want the face. So I did the magic wand just to select that. And then I go to the bucket again, the paint bucket to fill in. And then I'm going to go choose my color. So I wanted like a light pink. And then that should make it a little easier. So we'll give it a second. There we go. And then control D again. And now we've made his face pink. Mm -hmm. So you can do this for all the other parts. So let's just do like the ears for the magic wand. And then we're going to do shift. So when you hold down shift, that's an, I know there's a lot of controls going on, but um, once you get the hang of it, once you practice a lot, um, it gets a little easier to remember. I've been doing this for like 10 years, so this is like <laughs> this is like a second language. So we're gonna hold down shift and then we're gonna um, select each side or either side and I'm just gonna do maybe like a little darker purple for the fur inside the ears. And again, we're gonna go back to bucket and then select either ear and then control D stands for deselect. So now it's like a darker area. Hmm. And then again, it's a bunch of repetition again, back in to the magic wand. And then you select shift with the magic wand. And then you can choose like the eyes, back to bucket. And yeah, slowly but surely, it starts getting more character. And once you start actually drawing, I mean, if you're an artist, I feel like you just can't stop. So it's nice to get a little rhythm. So we're gonna maybe do like a purple for the eyes, like a dark purple. And then you don't always have to use um, the bucket tool. You can use our gradient tool. So that's another common one, which is right here. The gradient tool allows you to do more than one color um, gradually changing. So right now we're in purple and then I'll select the white and I'll do, um, let's try something different. I don't know, like a teal, is that teal? It's close enough. <laughs> so we can do a teal and a purple. So I'm just trying different colors. Um, we can do, let's stick with a linear gradient right now, just so for the sake of this, I'm gonna, just start from this point here, go down, and then that lets you change that. So it gives it gives it a little more interesting, a little depth, a little depth to the eyes. I like the gradients one. So so did my students. They really enjoyed doing different patterns, and it was uh, it's very customizable. Like you can do a lot with it. And then we can go maybe to the nose and do another gradient. So let's try like a dark pink and then lighter pink and then go back to the gradient there you go hmm. um, but yeah so this is pretty much the basics for flower alpaca again you can do digital art like this he's not finished we still need to do his body but you can finish at home uh, try the tools out and uh, next time when we record um, we'll do more animation uh, more scenery it's it's a great program it's very fun and I hope you guys give it a try because um, yeah <laughs> it's really fun I like it a lot very cool thank you very much thank you and hopefully we'll have some more videos for you coming up yes. in the future and be sure to tune in thank you thank you